the time, time, time. And yeah, I, I come from a pretty place. Oh, what a blessing. Sometimes I tell myself I live in heaven. You mean so much to me. Oh, my sweet Helen. And anywhere that I go, I feel proud when I tell them. From the blue My fellow diaspora brothers and sisters, as our island prepares to mark the 41st independence anniversary, I take the opportunity to reflect on the past year on our journey to forging stronger links between our diaspora and our beloved homeland. The road has sometimes been challenging. However, it has truly been an enlightening experience for me and my team. Meeting so many of you, listening to your concerns, suggestions, ideas for investing and giving back was very informative. What was even better is the fact that so many of you have partnered with the Diaspora Affairs Office to ensure that we do the best for St. Lucia and for St. Lucians in the diaspora. There were some notable achievements I'd like to highlight here. The establishment of the diaspora resource team. They are a group of senior professional experts from the banking, real estate, housing, land acquisition, attorney general's office, customs, Indian revenue, Invest in Lucia, Export in Lucia, SSDF, and the Government Statistics Department. Those persons, they leave their very busy schedules to assist the diaspora via email, phone calls, face-to-face -face interaction, or over Zoom. They answer all your questions, all your concerns, and they satisfy whatever desire you have to know about what you want to do in St. Lucia. Their support is pro bono and they have demonstrated their selfless dedication to the commitment to the social and economic development of St. Lucia and the importance of the diaspora. I have several emails from you, the diaspora, expressing your gratitude to the promptness of responses, assistance, courtesy from the Diaspora Resource Team. My office and the government of St. Lucia is very grateful. The Government Statistics Department is working with our office to design data collection tools which more accurately capture diaspora information. As Ambassador, I visited six countries to meet with you, the diaspora, so that you can share your views in person Two of those countries that I visited, the United States and Canada. In the United States, I went to four states and in Canada, two states. It was a very encouraging experience to engage with you face to face. This showed your appreciation in articulating that you had not received representation on such a scale. Thank you. Forging a strong relationship with the St. Lucia International Association, which I call the extension of the Diaspora Affairs Unit. The St. Lucia International Association is a group of St. Lucians who had been in the diaspora and have returned to settle in St. Lucia. Those persons have taken upon themselves a mandate to help other St. Lucians who would like to return to St. Lucia or who have returned to St. Lucia to reintegrate into the society. To me and my office, this group is well deserving of our honor and praise for the exemplary service that they are providing for love of country. The database of our um, Union of St. Lucia Overseas Association has increased mainly due to the services offered, the new services offered to the diaspora by the Diaspora Affairs Unit and the importance that our office pays to the 
relevance of the Union of St. Lucia Overseas Association. Many of you may not know, and those of you who do know, that the Union of St. Lucia Overseas Association is an umbrella body of all St. Lucia associations and groups around the world. It's a satellite organization that governs the activities of those associations. And I can tell you that for us, working and, in, and relating to them has been very important in matching forward in all the policies and, and activities that we have taken regarding the reintegration, the um, rejoining, forging, strengthening with our diaspora. The Diaspora Affairs Unit now has a Facebook page where all news from the diaspora worldwide is posted. You send pictures, you send videos, you send news announcements, etc. When we receive them, we post them on the page so that you around the world can see what each other is doing. You can connect with each other, you can contact each other. So this network is almost as if it was the network of the USLOA. And this is why we created this page to, to keep you in touch and informed. We also have a database in our office here of all diaspora associations, groups, and individuals. Now, with those groups, we email you every day on all relevant information for the diaspora, to the diaspora, in fact. And that would include job vacancies, what the government is doing in St. Lucia, the projects that they have advertised, anything that is of importance, you may think that's of importance to the diaspora so that you can communicate with each other around the world. Daily we increase and update the database at our office where we have, wherever we have phone numbers, we give you a welcome call. We also send you a pack, and this welcome pack have contact details of our office, of our diaspora team, of um, government offices that you may have um, need of. About our, it also has our diaspora policy and policies that have been already established that relates to the diaspora. Diaspora who come to St. Lucia for any reason are given the opportunity to be interviewed on the national television network, NTN. When those interviews are done, it is um, sent or emailed to all diaspora around the world. So then you can hear what your fellow colleagues are doing around the world. And those persons who are interviewed, they can tell about where, where they are, what the association is doing, what the groups are doing. And this not only informs the diaspora, but also informs solutions of what our diaspora are doing. The Diaspora Affairs Office is indeed very grateful to the Principal Information Officer, Ms. Davina Lee and her team for this invaluable support. We are recognizing the significant contributions that the diaspora are making in countries where they reside. We ask all diaspora groups, associations, individuals to submit names of persons in the diaspora who have made significant contributions in the countries where they reside. Those persons will be recognized with various awards under the under the various categories and also will be given certificates. Now, all nominees will be given certificates along with the awardees. The diaspora sent out the criterion for selection and that criteria, for example, were culture, business, education, youth, civic society, etc. We began this nomination process in February 2019 and nominations were closed November 29th, 2019. The announcement of awardees will be made on the 22nd of February 2020, as well as the announcement of all nominees. However, the awards to the awardees 
will be made at the biennial convention, the Diaspora Biennial Convention, which will be held in Calgary, Canada, on July 5th, 2020. The Diaspora Affairs Unit received 53 nominations, and it was a very difficult selection process under the various categories. As far as we are concerned, everyone nominated was very deserving. You did a good job in your nominations. Our diaspora youth have increased, especially those in Birmingham, Toronto, Atlanta, the Young Return Entrepreneurs Group in St. Lucia, and the St. Lucia UWI Youth at St. Augustine. We would like to also note the appointment of the St. Lucia New Council General to New York, Mr. Alvin Landers. New York is our largest, one of our largest diaspora groupings, and with this new appointment, we are hoping that so much more will be done, and we know that uh, together we shall grow from strength to strength. It has been an interesting journey so far. The burner is so hot with the number of things planned for this year for you, the diaspora. Words cannot explain how grateful we are at the diaspora office for your cooperation and support in this initiative. You are completely on board and I have told you before how much we appreciate this journey together. Many of you have said that in the event season coming up this year, starting in May, that we will see the numbers of diaspora coming home to increase and that our office should be prepared for some visits. Please note that it will be a distinct honor and pleasure as it has been so far. Many of you over the Christmas holidays came to the office and when I wasn't there, you came, you asked to come to my home and you were welcome and you will still be welcome because that is what we are here for, to serve you. I know that many of you will host your own activities to mark our nation's independence and I wish you much success. Please continue to share with us the photos and videos as you represent your country wherever you are, wherever you may roam. On behalf of the government of St. Lucia, the Diaspora Affairs Office and myself. I wish you, the Diaspora, an enjoyable and proud 41st Independence Celebrations. Please be safe as you showcase your pride and loyalty to the land of your birth. Now is the time. Let's do this together. Sweet Helen And anywhere that I go I feel proud when I tell 